Good morning and welcome to round two of the Bowl 35 in the club finals here at the 9 Eye Bowling Club, the National Inter Club finals here in Wellington. Of course, the first round we've already just been through this morning. We saw Dobson of the West Coast. They defeated the Auckland Originals two sets to nil. And in the second round encounter, we've got the Nelson Spirit up against the Blenheim Suns, the, the top of the south, up against one another. Two very good sides. And with me, I have got Kevin, Kevin Gledhill, who's sitting with me as we'll get this game underway. Good morning, Kevin. Welcome to have, uh, great to have you with us. And uh, you're looking forward to, uh, well, we're going to see some great bowls, that's for sure. Yeah, it's great to be invited to be a part of this commentary team. And uh, this, game, this, this, these, this game promises to be a very exciting game. Uh, there's some very experienced okay. players in both teams. And uh, I'm looking forward to commentating with you this uh, game. I'm sure it's going to be a great one. So the Nelson Spirit side comprises of Murray Scott leading Charlie Egerton in the middle and the international, renowned international Valerie Smith skipping and the Blenheim Sun side, certainly well-known name in the Marlborough area, the lead Jan Gallup, number two, Val Symes, and skipping the side is the very well-known and, in fact, defending New Zealand Fours uh, title holder, Morris Symes. And, of course, Morris as well, a former international player. Uh, very, very, two very, very strong combinations here. And I'm sure we're going to see over these two sets of five ends a very, very close encounter. This new surface here at 9 or the redone surface here, uh, at the 9 Eye Complex, uh, certainly all that reward good bowls and you'll pay for the bad bowls. And of course all of these players, all of these six players, um, Murray Scott and Charlie Egerton, long, well, part of the Nelson representative side, Jan Gallup and Val Symes, also of course part of, have been part of the Marlborough side uh, for a number of years. And we watch now Charlie Egerton, the number two, playing down, playing a walk, coming past us now, coming to rest now, come past the centre line. Morris Symes indicating to Val Symes at her last bowl. Needs a, a metre. And we've seen very early on in this, Kevin, that getting that line right on the surface uh, is very important, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is. Um, this rink is playing around about 16 or 17 seconds. We saw in the first game there that... Uh, you must take your green, and if you take your green, you'll certainly uh, come back and arc towards the kitty and, and get the shot. If you run too narrow, you're going to run across the rink, as we saw earlier, and uh, that's not good when you're playing bowls. Well, the other the good thing about this uh, format as well, you'll see the three big circles out here on the green, and really, if you're standing on the mat, uh, they're also a fairly good indicator of, uh, your, uh, of, of where to look to get to that breaking point because you know as Stephen Beale and I remarked in that uh, first round encounter that if you're finishing inside the circle uh, you, you're in a fairly good uh, position really so here is Val Smith with the well known stripy coloured charcoal and white balls on her back end and again, it seems to be how far is it going to come back to the centre line breaking back now to the centre line getting applause from the Nelson side and Val Smith straight away into a job, sits Jack level for shot, Symes quickly now, he'll follow that down on his backhand, very good opening bowl on the end one from Val Smith, because this is the second round and we'll bring you at some point this morning the updates of what's gone on in the first couple of rounds, here's Morris Symes and as Kevin rightly said but a few moments ago, if you don't get that green right, you're very quickly going to disappear under the centre line. And we saw that there with the Morris Symes bowl. Val Smith, of course, one of the great attributes that Val has got of her play over many, many years has been, always been her concentration and ability to take... She's a really good green player. Takes a, takes a, a green, lets the bowl work... Again, on that very good line, just going to sit outside or sit inside, but the two bowls, and those are two very good opening bowls, really, uh, Kevin, on the first end, aren't they? And indicating they are two shots. Here's Symes now, quickly into his work. We'll need to hold up, won't hold up down that line, and it'll disappear under that line. 
And as he gets a bit of luck, no, he won't. And I think very early on, we saw it in this very first in, uh, given the reward uh, f for taking your green. Well, those two shots that uh, Val Smith uh, put down as skip, you know, they are the two shots that are the uh, winning shots at the moment. And Morris Imes, both of his shots were cutting across the line. And uh, as the skip of the Blenheim, Blenheim team, He's a little bit concerned about that. You've got to get uh, right into your mojo very quickly when you're playing this game. Oh, in fact, they're looking for, th looking for three, aren't three they? Three shots here, uh, Kev. And, well, could it be four then? If that's in, the front one's in. No, it's not. There's a three. Now, also, as we spoke about with Stephen Beale in that first game, Kevin, you know, with five in, five in matches... You, you haven't got time to see what the weather's like. With no. five-end sets, you've got to be doing it right from the outset, don't you? No, you certainly haven't got time to uh, get into your game. You've got to be right on form from the very first bowls, and it's very important that the uh, leads and the twos get their bowls as close as they can to the jack, and that allows the skip to then decide on the uh, final course of action to either convert or add to the score. So here's the first bowl of Murray Smith that's coming to meet it short. And Jan Gallup now, after losing it three shots on that first end, is essential now that with the, the, the gate being left open, really, by uh, uh, Murray Scott being a metre short. is a great chance because, as we saw in that first game, uh, Kevin, if, Kevin if, if the lead gets you away, you're a very, very strong chance of uh, dominating the head, so to speak. So here's Scott again with that very, very distinct delivery that uh, those who have been around the bowling scene for a while, you know, that, that inside out, back to front, <laughs> the hand of uh, Murray Scott, long-time uh, Nelson player, played singles for Nelson for a number of years. Good uh, good bowl here from Scott, breaking down towards the centre line, sits Jack Level, just centimetres. Signs of a good green there as well, Kevin, because you saw it actually draw past that short bowl oh. of uh, his very first bowl, Murray Scott's first bowl, just draw it, drew round the bowl, so it's obviously got that, that really arky finish. Jan Gallup straight away, gets, and, and, and here's the danger that you'll pay for big time on this surface. The minute you endeavour to steer the bowl out of the hand, you're going to pay for it big time. Well, certainly if you have too much weight on it, as you saw there, it just came under the head. And uh, that's not what you want from your first two lead bowlers. So um, you've got to, you know, get the line right early in the game. And it is drawing very well and finishing well, Kevin. So here's now Charlie, Charlie Egerton on his forehand and straight away puts the Nelson side in a good position on the head. Indication from Val Smith was that this bowl is going to be short. In fact, we're in a metre short at the head now. Val Symes here will need to to uh, get a bowl on the head for the uh, for the Blenheim side, the Marlborough side. And see there, Murray Scott talking to Charlie Eggert and just talking about the green, where their breaking point is. This bowl of Val Symes is going to have more than likely good weight, but just going to be outside that line. And where that first bowl of Charlie Eggerton's is, really, uh, Kevin gives a good green line into where, that, uh, where the counting area is. Yeah, well, these bowlers are very experienced and, and they know that they need to adjust their line slightly to get the ball to come directly into the jack. It is arcing well into the jack and even if you miss it on the wide uh, arc, you know, you've got to then correct on the next bowl to make sure you just get the right line. So getting your uh, line is so crucial. Good bowl there from Egerton sitting, you'll see there, sitting right outside the centre line, holding two shots early on on this, the second head uh, of uh, five. Well, so these are set games, set formats. And five ends, and here's now Val Symes again giving the old hand signal that, we, that where that's gone to, and under the head, going to run away, and you've got just not, and the, 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 the difficulty straight away for the uh, the Blenheim side is is about getting effective bowls on the head. You, you, you just can't, if you can't get effective bowls on the head, you just you, you can't score in this in this shortened format. Oh, most definitely. As you know, it's a short uh, version of the game, and it's so crucial, your lead and to get the bowls close to the jack to allow the skip, as I said earlier, to then decide uh, what they can do to either add to the count or, you know, put a run shot through and, and dislodge the head. So those first two bowls from each of the lead and two are very crucial in the game, especially 
a game like three fives. So we'll be bringing you live coverage right throughout the three days here from 9A. And myself, John Beth, Brenton Van Nisseroop and a host of other people will be sitting in here and we'll be bringing you live action round by round. And then on Sunday, of course, section play today and tomorrow, the round robin. And each side in this 32-man side uh, event uh, will all have a televised uh, event. They will have a televised game at some point over the next two days. And then we're into, on Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, quarterfinals, uh, semifinal and final at 1.30. And look, please jump on board. Just go to the Bowls New Zealand website. Tell your neighbours, friends, sisters, cousins, workmates, whoever. And jump onto that Bowls New Zealand website. And there is a platforms there whereby you can watch this live action right throughout the day. It's my pleasure to bring you this coverage along with the, the team here from Bowls New Zealand who are bringing this live coverage, bowl by bowl action here from the wonderful complex here in 9 eight, and it is the Nelson Spirit holding two shots on this the second end after scoring a three on the first. Belle Smith just a fraction wide with her first but she will adjust. She's that sort of player as Smith. More than likely over adjusted here. He's going to come under the line. Needs a bit of luck and a finish outside. Just goes by. Had great weight. Great weight to score but you know, it really comes to a point here Kevin that if Nelson don't, uh, sorry, if Blenheim don't score on these first two ends the first end can, the first set can very, very quickly get away from you. Simon's trying to get up, needs to be under the Val Smith bowl, not going to be, and we'll finish outside it. So I see Murray Scott quickly taking hold of the map. And just two, you saw the indication quickly there from uh, Murray Scott. And so when it comes to the uh, to using the power play, it's a matter of whether you use the power play in the first set or the second set. Um, I would say in this case right now that how it's sitting, it'd be unlikely that Blenheim would use the power play, I would think. But are they going to? Been 5-0 behind on the in the first set. I don't think so. We'll just check. I heard. Um, so there's no, there's no power play being used on this end. No, there's not. Just had confirmed to me there. Um, First ball that uh, Murray Scott has put down there, a little bit deep with the uh, jack, as the lead for the Blenheim Suns delivers her first ball. It was on the backhand. All she's got to do is beat that first delivery of Murray Scott. She's put it rather deep, but it's still a good ball over the head. So a couple of metres here for Murray Scott to. So they have called the they have called the power play. That is a power play has been called by the. I assume it's from the marker Sue Wei just indicating to me that a power and that a power play has been caught. One would assume that it's the Blenheim side that has uh, called the power play. Been five nil down after two ends, trying to climb their way quickly back into this uh, first set. Of course, on the power play, uh, any scoring shots that you, you, you get, of course, that's that's two. But again, Jan Gallup is going to be wide. More than likely had pretty good weight. So Symes ideally would be ready to try and score two shots on this particular on this particular end. So Charlie Egerton on his forehand. And that's a good line out to the centre line to come back from there. Just going to question the weight. How far is it going to go? It's going to go by about two foot. But that's a good bowl right on the centre line. And that's certainly the shot. And it is the Nelson side holding two shots. Oh, an excellent uh, delivery involved there by uh, that was Charlie Egerton. Came right into the kitty. Nice arcing bowl. And it's given his team two shots. So uh, Val Symes now straight away endeavouring to try to really in a recovery, recovery position for the Blenheim side as it comes down towards the head. is going to have dead draw weight, but just going to be more than likely needed a metre just over green slightly. So here is now Higgerton, very experienced player, 
is uh, Charlie going to win a num- number of Nelson uh, titles uh, since his return from Australia about 18 months ago, and he's done her the same again here, just going to go by, will sit on the centre line, and just alongside his first bowl, and as far as Val Smith's concerned, the sk- skipping, that certainly gives you a good control of the head, especially when you're up against a power play opposing you here, Val Simon's now got to draw the shot, really, with this bowl to give her side you know, a strong scoring chance through this power play. It's going to be under their head. How far is it going to run? Head good weight. It's going to drift by. But you know, As I said early on, uh, Kevin, this game is all about effective bowls and owning the centre line. That's what it's all Well, you know, the Blenheim team right now are chasing the game. They're three down on the head. They're five down on the scoreboard. It is, you said, the third end, and they're up on the power play. And they need to get uh, the power play points now. Otherwise, it could well be you know, eight nil, nine nil up three ends. Yeah, well, and of course you can by doing, you know, you can uh, literally waste your power play, so to speak. And now the pressure's on Morris Symes to 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 score. There's certainly pressure on the Blenheim team, as Val Smith is the skip for the Nelson Spirit. Puts down here first ball on the forehand, and that's going to be under the line. As you can see that. See that ball, Val Smith turned her back on it very quickly. She knew out of her hand that it didn't have the... And, you know, Morris Symes just got to be careful here. It doesn't go too wide outside that Val Smith bowl to come back to to that centre line. It's on a good line, this bowl of Symes. How's the weight as it comes back now? Needs to sit inside one of these bowls. Sit inside the front bowl to get shot. No, it won't. And just cut it back to one, but certainly had that good line to the centre line. Now, of course, a big thing here for the Nelson Spirit, Val Smith just sits on top of that Nelson, that Venom Bowl there, gets one roll out of it. So he can be holding three shots very easily with Morris Sines with one bowl left for that, the Blenheim Suns. On this, the third end of the first set, and Val Smith's got this bowl out on that wider line, which he knows she has to take, take with her bowls, the Smith. Yeah, it's breaking its way back now. Not going to come back quite far enough. Good line, though, now for Morris Symes. He knows if he's in just inside that bowl of Val Smith, he will be in the scoring department. And is it, though? Is it, though? No, it's not. It's under that line. And we'll see if they agree with us. It looked about it is one to the Nelson side. Pretty disappointing there for the uh, Blenheim side there. They needed the power play. They called it, and they didn't get those points, which would have allowed them to just get on the scoreboard. Currently, they're behind on the scoreboard 6-0, and the Nelson team just, you know, showing their clear superiority at the moment. Well, the thing now, Blenheim have used their power play, so it's just about safe to assume the first set is all but gone, um, and power play's gone. So there's that wonderful marker. Sue Waite just makes her way past. And this is what we were talking about before, the importance in this format, well, in any format, but in this very, very quick-fire format, that first bowl to finish on the centre line, which we've just seen there um, from Murray Scott, just gives you, your side such a good start. This bowler, Jan Gallops, is going to finish up lower underneath the jack, sit on the centre line, needed just on a metre of weight, was the indication from uh, uh, Skip Morris, Simes and the Denham Sons. So Scott will endeavour just to, if he's behind the jack with this bowl, he'll be quite happy. It's arcing into the uh, jack now, and very, very good bowl. He's going to get a small rub off the his first bowl, and he's got two bowls close to the kitty. So it's Jan Gallup, Gallup for the Blenheim Suns. She's put down her second bowl, and it's on the backhand side. It's rather deep. She's just struggling a little bit at this stage to get the right line and weight and the three ends we've played. We're now on the fourth end. Charlie again and just gives that little hello, hello, out come the whiskies. <laughs> I haven't seen that for a long time, uh, Kevin. Uh, 
a wrong bias from an experienced bowler as Charlie Egerton, but you saw it there, clearly wrong bias, and uh, out of play. But I'm sure he will just flush that and uh, make sure with a, a good correction in the next time he gets the bowl. So, Jan, get, does need to get past these two bowls of the Nelson Spirit, Murray Scott, the lead, and that's a lovely bowl from Symes. Breaks its way. Just saw that lovely finish of it as it came in towards the circle, and that'll be the shot. Charlie Egan just taking a check there before he delivered it to make sure that uh, the little ring is on the inside. Val Smith's very keen, though, on this bowl. Needs to get past the front. We'll get the jack. Does it? Got a touch on that jack. Didn't go with it, though. Just got a side slice on the jack. Phil Simons will be very pleased with that bowl. She uh, delivered because they hold the shot. They're behind on the scoreboard. 6-0 in this, the fourth set. And uh, if she can deliver another one close, Morris Simons will be very pleased. Uh, so how far is this going to come back with that weight? Just has that extra bit of weight on it and will go by. And, of course, the... Yeah, the Nelson Spirit, the, the Nelson Club um, in Nelson, just in behind the cathedral in Nelson, is now the home of a number of leading bowlers from the Nelson area. Of course, we see Val Smith, of course, here, Charlie Egerton, the great Joe Edwards, uh, <coughs> Murray Scott, is that, is that Richard Collett, yeah. uh, there's a host of uh, very, very Keith Barrett. In fact, Val, uh, Joe Edwards' father, and, and, and only but, I think it was two weeks ago, we saw Charlie Egerton and, and Keith Barrett win the Nelson Champion of Champion Peers, and and Joe Edwards, the daughter, uh, won the Champion of Champion Peers uh, for, for the uh, for the woman. So, uh, pretty good, strong club, the one green club in Nelson, and sits in a very, very picturesque part of Nelson as well. Symes on the back end now, trying to add to the scoring. Val Smith just drifted outside. Good bowl coming here from Symes. Just sit inside the Val bowl. It does. Sits inside the Val. Symes bowl will sit on top of it. That's certainly the shot itself. Now, so the end of the call to Val Smith from Charlie Egan to play through there with weight. Play through those two front bowls. I've got a bowl at the back, uh, deep on the rink, have the Nelson spirit. So Val Smith can afford to play with weight through the, those front bowls to get down to the jack. Two down on the head, leading 6-0 as we play in four of five. In this, the first set's round two. And here's under the line. You saw that very, very quickly. It was always under the line. Got steered, had the weight, but... Just got steered under the line, and the Blenheim Suns will be more than happy to uh, open their account here on Ian 4 and see if Symes can draw another to make it 6-3. It's certainly on a good line. They're going to come back inside the Val Smith Bowl, trying hard to. Needs to sit inside it and fall in. Will do so. And uh, here, the Val Symes indicating, well done. And... We're just assuming that that was three. It is three. And three very good bowls there from the uh, Blenheim uh, Suns team. They needed those three points to get right back in the game. We've had four ends covered now. There's only one more end in the first set, so that'll give them a lot of confidence going into this final set. So it's imperative here that Jan Gallup, of course, a stalwart in the Nelson Marlborough area of netball. There's uh, Jan Gallup and the Gallup name uh, Kevin, Lloyd, Stephen, you know, the, uh, it's, it's a, just a, the, the Gallops have had such a strong name, and young Matty Gallop, of course, so, yeah, the Gallop uh, name in the in the Marlborough area, very, very strong uh, in, in all sports. In fact, it was only a couple of years ago, uh, Jan, who just played that superb opening bowl there for the uh, Blenheim, Blenheim side, for the Blenheim Suns, uh, got a uh, Netball New Zealand uh, long service award for her service uh, to Netball in the Marlborough region and has been a long sporting stalwart of the Marlborough region. So here now is Jan Gallup holding the shot. Good response though by Murray Scott just in behind the head. Only about 
Well, under two feet, there it is, you'll see the, the windy coloured bowl there of Scott now. Good response here. Another good bowl here from Jan Gallup. Going to get to the jack. Doesn't want to move it too far. Just sits inside. It makes two of it. It's a very, very good bowl from two very good bowls there from Jan Gallup. And the big thing here, Kevin, is even if this set passes them by, starts to give confidence back into the Blenheim Sun side. You now we saw uh, we saw Val Symes uh, you know, draw a very, very good shot on it. The last team have just seen uh, there we've seen Jan Gallup play two magnificent bowls. Murray Smith trying to, Murray Scott trying to get to the jack, doesn't do so. So it just gives them that wee bit of confidence, doesn't it? Going oh yes, and, and into confidence. The second is, set. Confidence is so important in this game. So important in this game simply because you need to have bowls close to the head to be able to uh, score. And uh, not only Jan Gallup will be feeling confident about what her uh, two bowls have provided, but the rest of the team will sort of you know, egg them on to, hey, we've still got an opportunity here and we're not going to just lay down and let this game go. A good bowl there from Val Symes over the head, which is always pays to have one uh, sitting over the head, and that bowl, of course, is sitting in amongst one of the uh, Nelson Spirits bowls as well, which also just makes it more difficult to score a number. Leading 6-3 is Nelson. Is Charlie Egan now on the back end, trying to get down to the shop bowl or jack. Is he going to hold up long enough to get to the jacks on a good line and went through? <laughs> certainly played with that weight to get through. Well, he was certainly looking at just trying to trail the jack because there was two bowls over the head. And if he'd have done that, he would have taken the uh, two bowls away from the... Um, you know, the Blenheim team, and they would have scored two shots. So it was a good line and wait, just didn't get the result. No, just you know, just sort of disappeared pretty quickly. But did have quite a bit of weight, and would have needed that weight to get the ultimate result that he wanted. And here now is Val Symes. But when you own the scoreboard in the first set, as they do, the Nelson side do, you can afford to. Yeah, Val Smith just saying, but. Don't need to be quite so heavy. Still play that same sort of shot. So here is Charlie Egerton on the backhand, endeavouring to get down to the counting bowls. Looks on the wide side. Is going to be on the wide side. Not going to get anything. Just goes by and will sit up on the very, very... It's not bad. Sits inside the big circle, the, the deepest circle on the, on, on the rink as we play in five here. Well, though he overcorrected on that bowl, Kevin, and there's two bowls over the head for the Nelson side, it does give Val Smith the opportunity, if she wishes to, to try well, and trail the jack back to those two uh, bowls over the head. So The thing with Morris Symes is he can't even worry about those because he needs three to, to tie the set. So he has to be drawing to the head. He has exactly. To be, he's got to be drawing a counter. Is he going to do so here? He was coming in towards the head now. And will, will it be? It's getting some applause. I'll see what Sue Wei indicates to me. The marker doesn't do so. Could well count. Yeah, it looks as though it might do. Here's now Val Smith, the New Zealand player, will play down on her back end with reaching weight, trying to get to the jack or sit amongst those poles. On the back end is Smith on its way with the multicoloured bowls it looks on a good line this bowl of Bell Smith to get a count on something and that's the shot itself well played and just see there though um, Kevin as well that, that, that Val Smith didn't have the same weight that Charlie uh, Egerton played he, he, she played with weight which wasn't going to I'm not going to say lose the bowl but would enable her to sit inside the head now, what it's literally done now, if you look at where the bowls are sitting, there is no chance of a three there for the, the, for the, for the Symes combination because they literally yeah. cancel one another out one by one by one. Um, so the other great thing about that bowl of Val Smith is it's sat in amongst the counting or possible counting bowls of the, uh, uh, of, of, of the Benham Sun. So that, that, you know, to me, that just shows the class of a player like Val Smith. Oh, almost definitely, and it was a very, very well-controlled, weighted shot. It was, as you said, it was certainly not overweighted. Just came in and underneath and clipped the bowl and, and got the shot for her team, and it was a very, very good bowl. So here's Symes now on the back end. Just wonder if that's needed. Look wide out of the hand. How far is it going to come back? It's arcing back, trying to get in the hand. It's going to just go on the outside. and might touch the Scott bowl. Doesn't do so. 
But really, the, the finite part of that uh, end was brought about by that superb bowl of Val Smith's after we saw Jan Gallup and Val Symes um, put the, their, their side into a possible chance of getting to six all uh, in this, the first set. But uh, safe to say, it's now locked away, this first set now for the Nelson Spirit combination of Murray, Murray Scott, Charlie Egerton and Val Smith. Up against the Blenheim Sun side of Jan Gallup, Val Symes and Morris Symes. And remembering, of course, in the first round, we had the side from Dobson up against the Auckland Originals. And it was the Dobson side who were the winners by a one, two sets to nil. And it is just yep. the one. Sue Wei, the market, indicating that to us. So... 7-3, and you would have heard it say then, so Nelson have got the mat regardless because they've won the set, so they take the mat, the jack will be placed, not delivered, and uh, you'll see there's three big circles there on the green, and you can elect yourself whereabouts of, of, of which one of those circles that you wish to uh, have the jack placed. So pretty short end here, Kevin, because that mat's up a bit from uh, Murray Scott. And here he is on that back end with that familiar delivery. For those who have been around the, the bowling circle for a while, you well know that Scott delivery, breaking towards the head, going to finish just in behind the jack. It gets by that centre line. And those are the sort of bowls really you need as a lead in this format to give your side the where well, you're not going to drop bundles. If you're finishing inside, literally in and around the circle, you're, you're not far away. And Jen Gallup, yeah, good first bowl here from Gallup on the first end of the first set, but just, sorry, the second set just went by. So you just put that first set to bed, don't you? Don't worry about it now. And just Oh, the um, Nelson Spirit played very well on that first set, uh, showing all of their experience. The Blenheim Suns have got a very experienced team also, but just didn't quite get their game in order. And they've got the second set now to try to, you know, compete seriously against them and try and cut down the score and see if they can make it one all at the end of the second set and go to a tiebreaker. Well, the door's open. There's, uh, you know, just under, just under a metre there to draw the shot for Jan Gallup. Here's Gallup on the backhand with the blue bowls. That second ball of Murray Scott's just... Oh, he was it too much off. Uh, it's, it's yeah, no, he's cut the line there, or she has cut the line. Oh, it's the steering factor that we, you know, you would have heard Stephen Beale and myself talk about it in that uh, first round that you can get yourself into a bit of what an effective bowl scenario once you drop that hand inside. Charlie, you get a now on the back end. Yeah, that certainly adds on a wider line but will break back now if it's dead weight and here it is coming to it as you said Kevin you do get that line and it will certainly break all the way back to the centre line as that Julie did so straight away on this first end pressure pretty quickly onto the Lenham Sun side on the backhand is Val Symes uh, for this bowl of Symes that's on a pretty similar line to where that bowl of Charlie Egerton's was, and it will come back. Has it got the weight to get all the way back? Trying very, very hard to get all the way back. Will it? No, it won't. Great effort. But it has cut the score back to just the one for the Nelson Spirit, so that was a good bowl in the context of this uh, game. As Charlie Egerton is uh, all in concentration now, lining up on his backhand. Beg your pardon, the forehand. As he comes down, trying to add to the count that the Nelson Spirit already had. And will do so. He's going to get to the jack, move it around the corner. Well played. Yeah. Yeah, good bowl. Just heard Val Smith indicating to number two. Yeah, the thing here for Val Symes. Yeah, that's right. You know, heard Morris Symes then play right through it. Because you can get the jack as well. Of course, if the jack goes out, oh, it goes outside the confines of the rink. The jack comes back to the two metre mark. So here's Val Symes on the forehand. Needs to play with weight. Trying to get down to oh, his way outside that line. Needs to be inside the line of this. You'll see the, 
the Murray Scott Bowl up in front of the head there, and you need to be inside that line uh, to get down. I just wonder whether it's actually three shots that they're holding the Nelson. Uh, so it's fair to say, Kevin, that, that, that Morris Symes has got to get this result on this end because you can't go in after losing the first set and dropping a three on the very first, and you've used your power, you've That's used right. your power the play. That's right, power play has been used. He's a very good draw bowler, as we know, very experienced uh, campaigner in the bowls, having 186 caps for the New Zealand rep team a few years ago, but very experienced bowler, so he'll be trying to cut that score down. They're three down on the head at the moment, and he's charged with that responsibility being the skip to try to yeah, get those shots and uh, take them away from the Nelson Spirit team. So I'm sure Val Smith will be content as yeah, she's going to be coming over the head. Wanted to get deep as deep down as possible on the rink. Is it going to hold up though all the way? I'm not sure whether. It, yes, it is. You'll see it coming right down towards the number. There it is, sitting right in behind. That's where they need to be. So Symes, he'll be attacking, and yeah, change a hand there to get that result. And got everything, and it's still low. It's the it's the two Murray Scott bowls that are the shot bowls for sure. It was so necessary for Mor Morris Simes to do that shot though. That was the only really option he had, wasn't it, Kevin? I mean, he was three down on the on the end, and he had to run through and try to get those bowls out. He was successful, but the score remains. They're still two behind on this. Uh, well, the, the, what happened, though, it has given him a metre to draw the shot, which is, you know, and Val Smith's still going to leave him that metre. So, you know, there's plenty of room here to get to, to, to draw, the, draw the shot on the back end. So here is Symes now. He's down on the head, but plenty of room, one would think, to draw the shot. He certainly got it out on that wider arc to get to come back to the jack. And that looks as though what it's going to it's got the weight to get all the way. Yes, it has. Has it got all the weight to get all the way down? He's got a metre. Yeah. Might still be one down. It might still be one, two. It's two, in fact. He'd be disappointed with that because there was, there was plenty of room there, really. There was a good metre and a bit to... Morris Symes to draw the shot after he played the ad attacking shot on the first end to the first bowl to put themselves into a scoring position. Val Smith, of course, with her second bowl fell short, and Morris Symes couldn't capitalise on that. So here is Murray Scott. They've gone with a shorter length, too, um, Kevin, I believe. And this may be what they believe is their strength. And a nice bowl coming up from Murray Scott, just resting inside in front of the kitty. Very good first delivery. Uh, the pressure very quickly onto the Jan the Gallup. Venom side. As she bowls down here, first bowl on the forehand side. She must get one close now. And it's going to, going to finish. Fairly close, just sat outside that of the shot bowl, but a good attempt from um, Jan Gallup. And I'm hoping at the end of the this round, as we go into round three, we'll be able to give you an update of the other round robin matches, which will be played out on the, of course, you can go to the Bowls New Zealand website. And all of those results and progress results will be up on the Bowls New Zealand website and uh, you'll be able to quickly see uh, how things are, are going in the various sections after two rounds here of this. The Bowls New Zealand Indescend at Bowls 3-5 finals. Two very good bowls there opening up from Murray Scott and a good attempt here from Jen Gallup just goes by. So four good bowls there, given really around the head, isn't there? Yeah, certainly. A... Certainly good bowls from the lead uh, players there. All the bowls are behind the head, one perhaps just in front, but all in good position, allowing the twos and the skip to be able to work off those bowls and get the odd wick and, and, and come under them and, and try and get the shot. But, yeah, very good bowls that we've seen the last two uh, 
So Charlie Egerton with his first bowl on this, the second end of the second set. And that was narrow under the line. Remembering, of course, that Nelson did win the first set by seven shots to three. And it really, in my view, that came down really to the uh, foundation that was laid by uh, Murray Scott throughout that first set. And here is now Val Symes trying to get down to the jack, get to the jack and a trail on it. It was unlucky. It was only a, only a couple of centimetres away from getting that trail on the jack. And I'm pretty sure that Val Smith would be happy here, Kevin, if this bowl of Charlie Egerton's actually went over the head because the jack trail certainly favours the, the Blenheim side and a bowl down where those two blue bowls are sitting, which is one of Jan Gallops and the other of Val Symes is not going to do so. Um, it's certainly a trail on the jack at this point. Uh, it favours that of the, the Blenheim Suns and that's what Val Symes, I imagine, well, she'll be endeavouring to do on her backhand, trying to get down to that counting area. How wide is it coming back now? Is it going to get back to the jack? No, it won't. Well, it's trying to get to the jack and all, but what a great attempt that was. So the, that, that shot is certainly, you'll see there, Murray Scott very quickly indicating to Val Smith, get to the blue bowl, turn the bowl, black blue bowl uh, into the head because there's a, there's a nest sitting there for the uh, Blenheim Suns, should they be, get that trail. That trail is always a, uh, a possibility with the calibre of the bowlers we have on screen here, and Morris Simons will certainly be trying to trail that uh, kitty, so Val Smith is going to try and cover it. Charlie Egerton tried to cover it, but just wasn't quite in the right position, but Val Smith, I believe, will try to cover that uh, opportunity if the trail comes along. Well, here is this first bowl of Val Smith and needs to be in this port here to get to turned over the... Yeah, that's the Blenheim bowl that got turned over. It's still one to Murray Scott. It's still a three-shot opportunity on the trail here for Symes. Literally just cut the draw is really just a... Yeah, how wide is this one now? This is, you'll see from here, this is where they start to work back towards the jack. Val Symes trying to encourage it back to get them all the way back to the jack. But there's another bowl in the catching pen. You'll see there Charlie Egerton indicating to Val Smith that's where we need to get to because it's, it's four shots if uh, Morris Symes can trail the jack. And she'll be full on concentration now trying to follow Charlie Egerton's uh, direction. And just put a bottle in there that prevents, uh, if the trail was to happen from Morris Symes, that there's a bowl there to uh, have covered it. Is it going to get down all the way? No, it won't. If that runs into the wide bowl of the Nelson Spirit. Now, every game there is turning, there is big ends that can decide a game, and this would be one. Here is Symes on the back end. Certainly brought his line in fractionally. Trying to get down to the jack. Just get, uh, the weight's going to get it. Is it? No, he's not. He's going to get the bowl fat. And this is the one. Yeah, just the one shot there for the uh, Nelson Spirit. And they go ahead now three points to nil. Well, I think, to be fair, Kevin, they'll be breathing a sigh of relief, actually, because that was uh, <laughs> an end whereby they could have been uh, uh, quite easily four shots uh, four shots down. Morris Symes just didn't, couldn't quite get that line right. And uh, and Nelson is uh, the first bowl, of course, the bowl of of uh, Murray Scott's that lead bowl, which held its way through to the the uh, end of the head, just not able to get that trail on the jack with Symes leading three 0 now. Of course, other Nelson uh, Spirit after winning the first set seven shots to three, and now leading three 0 after two ends and as we said all the results round by round of course are all posted up on the, the Bowls New Zealand website and you can go on to the uh, numerous platforms as well and watch all this live action uh, right throughout the uh, the section play here today and tomorrow of the Bowls 3-5, the National Interclub Bowls 3-5 finals here at 9 As we see Jan Gallup Bowl just skip by outside the circle but is the shot, and it's imperative here now, um, uh, Kevin, that the Blenheim side uh, score. 
Oh, I think it's important that they do score now. They, uh, as you can see, they're well down on the scoreboard, and there's only the best of uh, two ends. And if the Nelson Spirit retain the form that we've seen so far, they'll win this game two to love. So it's important for the uh, Blenheim side to try to get some points now and try and make a contest of it and try and get to a tiebreaker when anything can happen. Certainly can. It's actually that tiebreaker. It becomes really a, a, a one shot, you know, a one bowl uh, game. Really, here's a good bowl here coming from Jan Gallup as it's coming down towards the jack in the centre line now, and will sit right on top of it. Front toucher. That's what you want. Hundred uh, percent, Kevin. You want a front toucher. It makes it very, very difficult to get off. And uh, let's not be too surprised if that bowl remains there throughout the rest of this uh, particular end. Very difficult to remove that bowl, but I'm sure the uh, players will try to or get one close to so, it. So, under the head, as Charlie get in, and here's the chance now for Symes to um, to build on the head. The important thing, though, is not to give jack level bowls close to the head because that automatically then just opens the door up for Symes to use a bowl, so to speak, to uh, get to the head. And as you can see too, uh, Kevin, if there's a little plant on the shot bowl right on the kitty, the jack's going to be moved. And obviously this bowl coming down now is in a very, very good position should that oh, plant happen. It certainly is. It's sitting right in behind the jack there, isn't it? That's, that's, uh, you know, this is the first hit, in fact, of which the, the Blenheim side have, have had what I would call a domination on the head. And Charlie Egan, he's just going to slide by, not going to touch anything. And that's three shots laying there for the Nelson, uh, for the uh, Blenheim side. And three very, very good shots at this stage of the game. As we see Val Symes coming on her backhand, trying to protect that uh, shot bolt that we have right on the kitty. She's not going to try and get too close to it. She's just going to try and get the placement bowl in case count. the kitty should move. And yes, it could well. If the kitty was to move back, um, they're in a good position. So the nice to see here just quickly looking already on the various social media platforms. A lot of delight in the Dobson area after their uh, victory here in the in the first round. And currently the uh, Blenheim Suns, as you can see, are holding four shots. And as the skip comes to concentrate on, on her delivery... She will need to try to cut that back. So here is Smith now after winning the first set. would be happy if she can reduce the count here, really. Two of those shots, as you can see, are literally locked on the jack. Needs to get inside the blue boulders. Val Smith to cut the count down. Has it got the weight to do so? Not sure. We'll get an indication in a moment from our marker, uh, Sue Wei, whether that has made any difference or not. There's lollipops just starting to come out of her hand now, and it is three, sh three and a measure, three and a measure being held by the Blenheim side. So here's this up again here for Symes. Certainly is. If he can uh, get a count count of more than three, or even with the three, that puts him right back in the game. And uh, this is what they need to do. They need to do to make this a real contest in the second end. So here's Symes on his backhand. Holding three in the measure was the indication for the marker. Sue weighs under the line. This bowler signed. Doesn't want to collect the uh, Murray Scott short bowl. Not going to do so. In fact, will count if, if it sits inside. And it does sit inside the Val Smith bowl. So uh, Val Smith's got to be pretty careful here. Because she can still play that hand and run away under the head. Because of that, uh, because of that front bowl there. Just needs to be careful that she doesn't lose a bowl. Having a good eye picking, really. She might be better to change her hand to try and sit inside, not the counting bowls, the, because the danger is that you you uh, will play under the head. I think she's better, and that's exactly what Val Smith's going to do. Play the percentages, go back to her backhand where she's got no chance of steering under the head. And playing on the backhand, and just have her natural draw arc back in towards the centre line, knowing that she's two, that 
two of those shots are hard to beat anyway, and that, to me, that's really good play from Val Smith because it's about trying to reduce the yes. count. And is she going to do so? More than likely not. We'll see from Sue Way in but a, a moment. Symes again on the mat, on the backhand, holding three, one would assume. And he's got that bowl out on that wider safe side, and that's in the scoring vicinity. Now, if it comes back, needs to come back now. If it comes back, they're not going to do so. And we'll see in but a moment. Sue Way will indicate why the, what the outcome is. Someone saying five. Two have but come out. If they can score a five here, Kevin, that's a great turnaround and a real serious confidence boost going into the uh, fourth so end. There's, there's the Val Smith bowl, which I've indicated is the closest bowl. And four it is. Four. It is four. So there's a big end for the Blenheim Suns. They now hit the lead. 4-3. And... This is the second set after losing the first set. Seven shots to three. Now, of course, uh, Nelson have got the power play up their slit, and I'm pretty sure they're just using the power play now. I'll just check with Sue Wei when she comes by me here and uh, just check whether Nelson, Nelson are using the power play this end. Thank you. And Sue Wei just checking. As we see this first bolt of Jan Gallitz, because by using their power play here, and Kevin, they can nullify things considerably uh, to see whether, and just get an indication from Sue. No, they're not. It is, the, it is the fourth end. If they've chosen not to use a power play now, they'll probably use it on the fifth end. Well, they have to. Uh, they have to, <laughs> otherwise they won't have a power play in this game. A uh, good opening bowl here from... There, yeah, and Murray Scott very quickly, and that's where Jan Gallup needed to make sure she got that first ball right on top to to uh, assist the scoring opportunity. Uh, this, yeah, as far as this ball is, Gallup's going to come back towards the centre line, looks to have better weight. Morris Symes encouraging it on. No, it doesn't straight away. We see the head domination Route go very, very quickly in that to the Nelson Spirit trailing 4 3 after winning the first set 7 3. On the back end now is uh, Murray Scott. Drew a really good bolt with his first, and he'd be quite happy with this bolt if he can just get by the head, get behind the head, finish on that centre line. But if he's half a metre behind, he'll be more than happy, and that's where he's going to be. That's where you control this game. Oh, very good delivery there from Murray Scott. Very experienced player in the Nelson region. And um, one bowl on and one bowl just maybe a mat length. Not much more beyond that behind the head. So I see the, the Sustagen has been delivered here. We've got aeroplanes, little bananas. These are, these are sweets, by the way, not fruit, all right? <laughs> That have been delivered. We always get we always get well looked after. Here is now Charlie Eager done with his bolt, first bolt on this the fourth end. With it is Scott holding the shot, and again down over the head. I just thought he may have played the other hand, try and get that trade on the jack, and uh, really play the same sh shot to cut options off for the Blenheim side because that's what where his Val signs now. Val Symes on her forehand. She'll be doing her utmost to try and you know, under the line. She wasn't happy with that delivery, Kevin. Well, she walked away from it, and as you can well, see, it's you clearly can, under the line. Well, it's pretty simple. When you steer your bowl, yep. that's what's going to happen. And now, yeah, we're just playing. Uh, the Egerton's going to endeavour to play the shot that we just spoke about because if he is fortunate enough, well, they're holding the shot, if you've got a touch on the jack, it's certainly makes things very, very difficult for the Blenheim Suns to score. As you watch this bowl, it's going to be outside, and, and Val Smith will be quite heavy, gets outside the bowl, and now, yeah, it's really where they want them. 
And oh, very good position bowls from their lead oh, and holding, their... Holding three shots. Holding three shots. Their lead uh, set things up well. And Charlie Egerton just put the position bowls in in case we do get a trail. Oh, the thing for the uh, Blenheim side here, you know, sure, they're in front 4-3. They could drop a number, or the most they can score, I would say, is one. They'd be happy if they could draw the shot here. So here's Morris Symes for New Zealand player. Of course, uh, Blenheim going to get down to what is the Murray Scott bolt, which is the shot. Is it going to come back all the way with that weight? No, it's not. And Val Smith now, I'm pretty sure, will just... She'll go to her back end. She's not going to try and tighten the line up to play under bowls. I think she'll go to back end and draw uh, in between the two Murray Smith bowls, which and Murray Scott bowls, which would be counters, and that's exactly where uh, Val Smith is going. And that then really, really puts the pressure uh, on the Symes, uh, the uh, the Blenheim side, and that's where Val Smith's going. Needs to get all the way down here. Not going to do so well. Well, more the, the problem with it, the, the, the problem is here with the Blenheim side. They haven't got a bowl within four to five feet. Yes, and that is the problem because, um, you know, the game's going to run away from them. As, uh, so Morris here's Symes Morris comes Symes down now bringing that line in, trying to get even get second shot. He'd be happy, and he will do so, I think, would get second shot. Yes, it will be. And now uh, Val Smith can change a hand again. And that 18-inch uh, jack trail is certainly in favour of the Nelson side. At the moment, it's one to Nelson, which would see us going into the 15 final end of the second set, all locked up at four all. And as the jack gets moved here by Val Smith, and she's narrow, as she quickly indicated out of her hand, that was uh, narrow. So it's a one to the... The Nelson, uh, the Nelson spirit. That's the side of Murray Scott, Charlie Egerton, and Val Smith up against the Blenheim sons of Jan Gallup, Val Symes, and Morris Symes. And earlier on, of course, we saw the Nelson spirit win the first set by seven shots to three. We're all locked up, four all. So there's no tie break. <laughs> well, wow, there's no tie break at this stage, obviously, but uh, they're on to the fifth end now, and um, they've got a chance to win this game. But if it is locked up at the end of the fifth end, Kevin. The game well, will be won by the Nelson I'll Spirit. Just see. Yeah, is that? Because it'll be a one win and a draw. So uh, Sue, Sue Whale indicate to us. So it's fine, but this is this has been the big difference. This man here, Murray Scott. Oh, who, most definitely, Kevin. Murray Scott's led very, very well throughout this game. He's been close within a metre of all of his bowls. Uh, so, so every end he has had one very, very effective bowl and another bowl in the catching pen, so to speak. But he's had one bowl um, uh, on each. It was, and see, the, straight away, Jan got up now narrow under the line. And straight away, it uh, allows the Nelson uh, spirit side to put a wee bit of control on the head. And, of course, I'm sure you only need one shot. It's all you need, just one shot, one bowl at four apiece. Yeah, Murray Scott has certainly uh, delivered this morning with his uh, bowls, and um, he's kept the pressure on for the um, Blenheim Suns team. And yeah, currently another they... good bowl here, going to sit just straight, just literally uh, on the centre line. And uh, just so as you know, the next round, round three gut match here. Uh, we'll be bringing you the game match between the Stokes Valley Vipers of Wellington up against the Coromandel Muscles of Thames Valley. That'll be the round three match here, which gets underway at around about 11.40 a.m. And we'll have that match, of course, live here uh, when that gets underway. So here we go with, yeah, it's Charlie Egerton. And, of course, the, really the Nelson side are at the point in this where they don't really need too many more bowls really on the head, uh, Kevin. They so they're literally leaving it now as a one sh a one hand option. Yes, and they don't want to uh, fatten the head up. I mean, this is the last end of the second set. They won the the first one. All they need to do is get one more shot, and they've got this game. So they're playing a little more conservative, I believe, and just poking them around the head and not getting too uh, close to the jack. Well, what they're really saying to the Blenheim Suns is you've got to play the shot, which is a good attempt here from Val Sines, but just going to run into the front bowls here of the 
the uh, Nelson side turned it over and I'm picking now where we'll be seeing Mel Smith again will be happy if this bowl of Charlie Egerton is actually if it's a metre over the head she'll be reasonably happy with it well, she'll be very happy with it in fact and that's exactly what's going to happen It'll come, as long as it stays up coming back down to that deeper part of the rink Morris Symes saying to Val Symes just try and draw so hard here now to try and to, you know, to dare draw the shot it's a, you know, you know, all the players of course are more than capable of it but it is psychologically it's very hard as well so he, it's out on that wider side this bowl of Val Symes and you know it's not it's not going to come back from there and <laughs> so difficult well the issue here Kevin is the Blenheim side need two points maybe even one and currently they're down on the head by one shot they need two points to be able to win the second set and go to a tiebreaker. The pressure is on them. The Nelson side are just discussing what their options are, knowing full well that all they need to do is get one shot well, on the... Well, what I've liked about the Nelson side is what we're seeing just now. They're really thinking about um, how they're playing the head, how they can you know, get themselves uh, in control, not put themselves in a vulnerable position. And, of course... Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. So, so much... Uh, comes down to what the uh, team decide at this crucial time of the game, how they will play to ensure they win, or in the other case, how they're going to get themselves in the position to win. So, well, Smith, not surprising, going to maintain that backhand side of the rink, which really cuts, makes that line for Morris Symes very tight and you're going to turn over a Charlie Egerton ball now that, that oh, no, I, I just thought it might have opened the line up a wee bit more for Symes not really well the Blenheim Suns are down four on the head decision the time now so just asking whether that ball that rolled under the head if it's in behind the jack which means to me that Morris Symes is playing the option of endeavouring to try and dead draw the shot and he's more than capable of doing so as well. On the backhand is Symes. Looks to be on that wider side. How far is it going to come back? Won't come back from there. Now, from Val Smith's point of view, the, the, the cards have been played. She knows what shot that Morris Symes is going to play and here he gets the correct shot. Charlie Egerton and the, and the other Nelson Spirit player, Murray Scott, saying leave the head alone and get a metre in behind. Um, Morris Symes has literally left himself now that shot that he endeavoured to play the dead draw with his first as his best shot option. Now, and that means really uh, that it's a one shot result and that he's playing for it. And here is, and uh, there's that, exactly what they wanted. And of course, now Symes needing two. And that's it's going to be very difficult for those uh, two shots to be gained, but I'm sure he's looking closely at the head, getting some um, advice from his lead and his two. But there's no jack, can't get the jack line. That's only, right. The only way he can get jack line is to actually have to change his hand, really, and try and, uh, and, try and get the, through on the other hand to the jack line, which we'll see what Symes elects to do here. And here he is. Coming down on his Coming backhand. Coming down on that backhand, trying oh. to get down to the shot bowl. He's close, Symes. He's close. He's close as Morris Symes. He's very close. and will make one of it. He will. Oh, a very good shot from Morris Symes then. That uh, means they have won this second set and will go to a tiebreaker. He actually uh, recovered well and uh, certainly got the winning shot that he needed for his team. So it's five points to four. We've had two sets. We go to a tiebreaker. So, you know, that showed the ability that, that's there with these players, especially players of this ilk, this experience. And uh, got that shot, got that sit. And as they had that chance, of course. With Decision time now for the uh, Nelson Spirit as to what length they will choose to have the jack. They're having a discussion now. Will it be short? Will it be medium? Will it be long? This is a crucial end. Thank you, Murray. 
It is one set each. So here's the tie break. And, and now Jan Gallup, the first bowl, and has to make this first bowl count. On this, the tie break in. As you watch it breaking down towards the head now. Just going to go by the jack, will it? Just, it does. Pretty good opening bowl, though. Sits just in behind the jack line. It sits just off the centre line. You'll see it there on the screen, half a metre behind. So, Murray Scott now, the very, very experienced Nelson player. On that is favoured backhand. Good opening bowl, though, by Jan Gallup was needed. Superb opening bowl in the context of the game, Kevin. Uh, pretty good response here, though. A yeah, very good response here. I don't get much better than this. Perfect delivery and perfect result. Sitting really right on the jack. Yeah, that Jan Gallup just follow her first down. Gets a touch on the jack. It's an advantage for her to be able to touch the jack. Sitting right on the bowl is the jack. Oh, Morris Sogs. And just heard Jan Gallup saying, I don't know if I've got enough. No, it's not. But you can see the shot option there for the uh, Blenheim side to play down, get that jack touch. So Scott with this ball will want to be sitting just fractionally in behind the head. So any jack movement, of course, at this stage. I want to try and cover that in there, that jack movement after that very good ball played by Scott with his first. Bell Smith looking closely at this ball as it's coming down towards the head. And more than likely to have been happy to have got another half a metre of running out of that bowl. Sure, it's two shots, but that don't count whether it's two or four or one on the tie break. It's about owning the head is the key thing. Bell Symes now, the key thing for Symes, not to be short. Play with confidence up to that. Scott and there are Bolt. no power plays in this uh, tiebreaker, so they've got no opportunity to get double points. It's the shot that's at the end of sorry. this game will win it, win it for their team. At sorry. the moment, it's sorry. At the moment, it is the uh, sorry the uh, Nelson Spirits bowl of Murray Scott, which is the shot bowl. So, Hal Symes, it's the weight that needed to be played, played down through those bowls, but was under the line. So, Val Smith will want this bowl of evidence to come. And behind the head, and is doing so, and that sits in behind in that area where you need it, because that's the weight that sort of needs to be played to get that dislodgement of the bowl. Here is now Val Sines with her second and last bowl on the tie break end here, and she doesn't like this. You saw the old hand signal, and it's not. It's going to be so again. It'll be down to Morris Sines to um, to play that shot. And deep in conversation is that, uh, and further back to the two metre mark is the call really from uh, Val Smith. See what weight Symes will play. He certainly to make sure the bowl holds up, Kevin, to that on that line. He'll need to play with a reasonable amount of weight to be able, otherwise the bowl. If you try and play half man weight down there, you'll, um, you'll quickly disappear. Well, his bowler was trying to get close to that two metre mark, uh, Kevin, so that if the jack does move out of bounds and it goes back on the two metre mark, they would have the shot. That positional bowl was very good. Nelson Spirit holding two on the head at the moment. So, round two coming to a close here of the. National Linda Club Bowls 3-5 finals here at the 9i Club here in Wellington. We'll be here, of course, right throughout the whole weekend, bringing you live coverage round by round and yeah. quarterfinals, semifinal and finals on Sunday. And I'll be doing a couple more games here today. And, uh, of course, we're splitting the commentary between myself, Brenda Van Nisseroy, the man from the Phoenix, who will be delighted today after the Phoenix won last night and have won their way certainly into the uh, football playoffs and the, the uh, professional football league. So Brendan will be delighted with that result. And, of course, John Macbeth, the legend, one of the doyens of uh, New Zealand broadcasting and, of course, the president of the Raumati Bowling Club, who are here playing in this event. 
and uh, John yeah. Beth will also be uh, uh, sharing the commentary. Myself, Brenda Van Nistelrooy, and John Beth will be bringing you all the live action, along with uh, a number yeah. of people who will be sitting alongside us throughout this event. So here's Morris Symes now on the mat, on the tiebreaker. Yeah, this is an interesting choice of shots here. He's trying to play the cush shot onto the front bowl. He's close, holding up, holding, needs, needs to hold up clean to the shot bowl. Doesn't do so, but he, instead of trying to play the trail, he was trying to play that push shot with that weight to move the bowl. You'll see the Jan Gallup bowl just sitting over there. That's all he needed, a little bit extra more weight. The kitty could have moved back to his bowl. Excellent uh, delivery and excellent uh, result. Just didn't quite hit that uh, <laughs> shot of Murray Scott's uh, bowl hard enough. Bit of a harder shot now. Um, just a matter of where things will move to, whether he sort of committed himself to play that shot. Uh, of course, we saw Blenheim win that second set, five shots to four, after the Nelson Spirit won the first set by seven shots to three. Over the Blenheim Suns, here's Val Smith now, the more accomplished over 600 games, of course, for New Zealand. Winner of numerous Commonwealth Games, World Titles, Asia Pacifics, and you can see Val Smith and Morris Symes sharing a bit of javality there. And as you saw that Smith bowl sit out to the side, Morris Symes coming to have a I look. I think so. No. And yeah. They it's are, crucial that the uh, well, skips do walk down and have a look at the head now. It's the most important here, end yeah. of this competition. And obviously both Val Smith yeah. and Morris yeah. Simons will look closely at the head currently. Well, what it's done is force Morris Simons to change his hand. That's, that's because the jack side movement now sits definitely parallel out to where that Val Smith bowl is sitting. So the indication from Morris Simons was that I'll try and play the more challenging shot, which he's more than capable of playing, to try and get down to <laughs> that shot. Well, he's staying with that first shot option, as you will see in but a moment. Might have to play it a wee bit quicker. And he is playing it on that hand that we spoke about, trying to get down to sit to the Murray... Uh, Murray Scott Bowl coming back now. Looks like it's going to be too wide, and it will be. And we've got a winner in round two. The Nelson Spirit in this tie break. The very first bowl of Murray Scott's, which rested right on top of the jack in this tie break, gave the uh, Nelson uh, Spirit the uh, victory in this the second set after after the Blenheim Suns won the first set by five shots to four. And in the uh, second set, the uh, first set, we saw the Nelson Spirits run out the winner by seven shots to three. So pretty close encounter there, really, uh, Kevin. Right? And uh, it was a matter of that first bowl dominance again that Murray Scott really showed uh, right throughout this match. He was uh, pretty consistent, wasn't he? He certainly was very consistent. In fact, I reckon that was the winning of the game, the, uh, the way he drew the shot as a lead. Obviously, the uh, Blenheim Sun came back in the second set, but that first set, I think, just, uh, you know, was the winning of the game. They had the confidence, they had the shots, and they just carried it right through, notwithstanding the fact that the Blenheim Sun was won the, the second game. But in the uh, final tiebreaker, the Nelson Spirit came through once again with the Murray Scott Bowl, the importance of that uh, lead bowl, so crucial to give the Nelson Spirit this win. Oh, well, I think what it comes down to really... Uh, uh, and highlights very, very much so, and we'll see this throughout, right throughout this event. It's the consistency that you need from your your, your lead, which is going to give you uh, the, the the start you need. So there you got. There's the winner, winners of our second round match. That being the Nelson Spirit, Murray Scott leading, Charlie Egerton and Val Smith uh, skipping, and they've defeated the Blenheim's, Blenheim's Sun. And remember, in that first round, we saw uh, the we we saw the very, very the the uh, Auckland Auckland side up against the Auckland uh, Originals up up against the Dobson side of the West Coast and Dobson ran out the winner round two. We saw Nelson Spirit winning round two, and in the third round we'll be bringing you live coverage of the Stokes Valley Vipers out of the Wellington Centre up against the Coromandel Muscles of Thames Valley. So this is Kevin Hickland and Kevin uh, Kevin Glendale saying uh, farewell for a while, and uh, we'll be back here for round three in the very near future.